Hi guys, my name is Ruby from the School of Rock in Covent Garden and today I'm going to show you how to make Rogan Josh. Okay, so we're going to be making a lamb Rogan Josh today. This is a very rich and aromatic curry. So what we're going to do is start off by uh, marinating our lamb. So I've diced up some lamb shoulder here and what we're going to do is just build on those levels of flavor. So I've got some garam masala spice here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a sprinkle. Not too much. Uh, this is just going to be that light little hum that comes into the flavor. And I've also got some natural yogurt. I'm gonna put a couple of spoons on there and then give it a good mix around. So after I've uh, given this a really good mix, I'll just leave it in the fridge for those flavors to really take on. It's also just going to soften the meat and make it extra tender. Okay, so we're going to start off by grinding some spices in our pestle and mortar. We've got uh, an array of different spices here. So what we're going to be using is uh, some coriander seeds. I'm going to use about two teaspoons. Straight in there. I've got some cumin seeds. I've also got some uh, Kashmiri chili. So this dish is uh, from the region of Kashmir in India. So this is a really lovely essential item that you're um, adding. See that beautiful richness in color. So I'm gonna put two generous uh, spoons of that in. I'm gonna go with one teaspoon of turmeric. We don't want it to completely overpower and uh, color our curry too much. One teaspoon of black peppercorns. That'll give it that really nice slow burning heat. And I'm gonna go in with two teaspoons of garam masala. I'm just gonna grind all of these spices up together now. I'm gonna make a nice blend of spices. We've released all the smells and flavors from those uh, seeds. So we're trying to get it to this kind of consistency. It doesn't need to be perfectly smooth, uh, but just broken down and releasing all those oils and aromats. We're gonna move on to uh, just preparing our onion. So onions, like a gravy base for our curry. We don't want to chop them uh, too small. We wanna maintain a bit of that flavor. They will break down and, and like I said, become that lovely, rich, creamy sauce. So just take off the skin there. Just gonna chop it in half and then slice it down. Into smaller chunks. And then I've got some fresh coriander here. Uh, I'm gonna use these lovely uh, leaves at the end to just garnish it on top. But what I wanna do is use the stalks. The stalks have an amazing flavor. You'll even find in uh, a lot of Southeast Asian cooking, Malaysian cooking, they even use the roots uh, to just to give that extra uh, depth of flavor. So I'm just gonna chop this down nice and finely. I'm gonna add those straight into the bowl with our onions. We'll cook those up together and we'll save these leaves to garnish on top. I have some garlic, some ginger, and some chili. This is quite a spicy dish, but uh, you can adjust the levels of heat by how many chilies you put in it. This might be a touch too excessive. I'm just gonna go with two. Or you could remove the seeds that will give that flavor of the chili without quite the same intensity of heat. So I've got two decent size uh, pieces of garlic. I'm gonna chop that up finely. Just remove the ends. Give them a little tap with your knife. Should help take that skin off nicely. Slice it along. And then we'll finely chop it. We'll pop that to the side. And then we're going to chop our ginger. I'm just using a teaspoon to peel this ginger. It pulls that skin off. So we can slice and then piling them up, chopping it down nice and fine. Okay, now we can start to cook. Everything's prepped now, so we're gonna start cooking our curry. Got some vegetable oil here. We don't want too much, uh, just enough to coat the bottom of that pan. 
and I'm gonna turn it on to a medium high heat. So we're gonna cook off our onion and our coriander stalks first. So these are gonna be the base of our curry. We want to uh, soften them without getting too much color on it right now. We can keep going with that a little bit later. So we're sweating them, getting them all nice and silky soft, getting all that beautiful flavor from the coriander stalks. All right, so our onions and our coriander stalks have cooked really nicely now. So I'm gonna go in with my ginger, my garlic, and my chili. Uh, quite often when chili hits a hot pan, it tends to smoke quite a bit. So just be very careful. Move it quickly. We don't want anything to burn. We just want it to soften, let those flavors out. That's looking really good. So the next thing we're gonna do is add in our spice mix. We have quite a lot of spice here, so we do need to toast it off and make sure that we get the best out of those flavors. Okay. So you can smell that garam masala lift off straight away, coriander, the cumin, that uh, just that little bit of turmeric has already started to color our curry quite nicely. So we can really see the base of that curry starting to form. Okay, so all of our spices are really nicely toasted now. I can smell all those beautiful flavors coming out. So the next thing I'm gonna do <laughs> is add in my lamb. You'll notice that a lot of the spices have stuck to the bottom of the pan now. That's fine, they're all gonna lift up when we put in our lamb. Beautiful. All right, give it a good mix around. All oh, that beautiful flavor is really lifting off the bottom. This is coming on really nicely now. We just wanna add a few more flavors. So I've got some cinnamon bark. You can use cinnamon stick. That's just gonna give a really gentle warmth to our curry. Also got some bay leaves because I couldn't find any smaller ones. <laughs> okay. Tomato paste will thicken our sauce. So when it comes to adding in our stock, uh, we just wanna make sure that it's cooked out properly first so that you don't get any lumpy bits. We've got about two tablespoons of tomato paste. Also going to help set the color for our curry. That is coming together really nicely now. The last thing I'm gonna do is add in a little bit of salt. Couple of generous pinches and then we can taste it again when it's ready and see if we need to adjust it at all. I'm gonna add in the stock now and just let it simmer. So once you've got that stock in there, you've gotten all those little last bits of spices from the sides, we're gonna bring it up to a gentle boil and then pop the lid on just so that we can let it soften, let that meat really tenderize. Lid goes on, I'm gonna simmer that away for two to three hours, but a minimum of one hour. You want the meat to really soften uh, and it can just fall apart when it's ready. Our curry has been cooking uh, for about two and a half hours now. We have taken the lid off, we've reduced it down a little bit, and so it's just coming to that really beautiful, creamy consistency. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is add in a little yogurt. That's going to uh, just make the sauce a little bit thicker and give it that really nice color. And then we just wanna gently add in that yogurt, bringing the temperature gently up. At this point, you can remove the bay leaves and the cinnamon, especially if they're excessively sized. I've got some perfectly steamed jasmine rice. Nice portion of that. And then we'll ladle on our curry. Lots of gravy. And then I've got some coriander and some chili. I'm just gonna garnish that on top. And there you have it, our lamb rig and josh. Okay, let's taste. Get another chili on there for good measure. The lamb is perfectly cooked. It's so soft. All the flavors are there. 
and spicy, the salty. I'm really happy with this dish. If you'd like to follow more, then subscribe to our channel, like our social media, and uh, the recipe for this dish is on the link below.